Hello everyone, it's your girl Marissa. Thank God it's good to be back. I'm back to you booktube. Yeah, booktube community. It's been so long since I last post a video on booktube. So yeah, I'm back. Well, that's a good thing and I am working hard to at least post one video for booktube, one video per week. So today's video will be a review of Bullet Train by Kota Kotaro Isaki. Okay, um this book is more of the thriller genre but it's um it doesn't feel like it's your typical genre because this book is um what should I say? There's a mixture of humor inside and I just feel that the characters are more humanly to me if that makes sense humanly yeah if that makes sense and yeah um, this book is in multi point of views okay multi points of views where it gives me the privilege to read the thought process of each character you know I just I just love books with multiple POVs so this book starting with the teenager the innocent looking teenager but actually a psychopath inside you know the type of teen teenager that find pleasure in killing people and he keeps asking this question why is it wrong to kill people to adults around him and often he he received the same answers according to him the same answers from the adults but same answer but it's not deep enough for him to think through so this 14 year old teenager um, called as Satoshi or, or labeled as the prince he um, yeah he uses manipulative skill to control people to make people um, what, uh, what is that word again to, to make people to do his will yes and and surprisingly he is a reader a reader like reader who who keen to read books about war and you know when we read books about war it involves about murders about kills and uh, killing people so so that sort of books kind of um, influence him you know influence him and sharpen his skill to manipulate people to to understand people and use and use that to his advantage something like that so yeah you know like this teenager like is what really um caught my attention and another characters okay these two characters they are um like to me they are um the best duo they are the assassins yeah the, yeah assassin duo best duo yeah to me like um they are named after after fruits okay um they are given this lemon name like lemon and tangerine so lemon can you imagine like um this author called kotaro isaka he the way the way he made the characters as if they made the, he made the characters to feel more humanly to me because from my limited experience in reading thriller books i just find that most thriller the characters are more with the with the intent to kill or intent to manslaughter it doesn't um, explore much with the character development except for like the falling in love with the victim you know the predator falling falling in love with the victim and the victim falling in love with the predator usually something like that but in this book it's totally different because can you imagine the two assassins these these uh, two best duo should i say okay like lemon he he is so obsessed assassins obsessed with this children's show called thomas and friends i've never watched thomas and friends before so so um that you know like um this book made me curious about thomas and friends then i found out oh thomas and friends is more about um like the oh, oh, what should i say the ah, i just forgot it ah just leave it okay while tangerine is his little bit um this tangerine character is a little bit um serious um composed but he loves literature like 
can you imagine that this author the way he made his characters like more human to me like assassin but loves and enjoy reading literature and i was like wow assassin reading literature enjoy reading literature i'm like i just find that um beyond imagination like um it's like i i, I had difficulty to imagine that because back then i always think like oh readers they are mostly um reasonable people the goody goody people like blah 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 but then but then yeah you know like the world outside there is more complex and stuff like that so back to this book okay this book is about what happened in the bullet train okay you know like the further the train goes to the stop the further it gets crazy 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 because everyone actually um, boarding this train with their own mission that has nothing to do with other people but somehow their um, their mission gets overlap like lemon and tangerine they um they look around people who dare to poke their business you know like poke around their business like that so the further the, the train goes and the crazy it gets and the more people die the more cops in the bullet train and i just like i just love there are plenty of plot twists in this book if you are expecting this book to be all unpred all all predictable you are wrong because this book is filled with plot twists and unpredictability and okay i am more interested to tell you what are my learning points from this book so number one number one okay never ever think that children cannot commit murder because because um i do not know how to put this into words oh my god i'm so terrible it's been so long i didn't do this type of video um you know when when it's about killing someone killing means death you know whether it's committed by children or by adults it's still the same okay there is no such thing as children when the other person is dead oh. and when the other person is pro at killing people even though the other person is a child it's still murder so never um yeah never cater categorize that i'm like yeah just just don't ever think that children cannot commit murder because um his environment pot, um, possibly influence him or her or maybe from the books that or the show that he read that he watched we never know so be careful with that so that's number one okay and then number two number two never ever ever underestimate the veteran because we never know maybe like yeah we never know one of those veteran were the professional assassin we never know so never never underestimate the veteran as weak and slow because because their body usually know what to do when something happens uh, that's all i can say and then number three read more books read more variety of books not just the, not just stick to one genre but read more variety of books uh, which what i am doing and what and what i'm planning to do more because i remember since this lockdown since last year i i don't i i don't read much literature so i'm planning to read that and somehow this book inspires me to explore more of literature not just not the typical english literature from england like jane austen mary antoinette uh, charles dickens but other literature like um and kenina like like the russian the russian literature the translated ones obviously okay so yeah i just feel that i have to explore more of that kind of literature and then um and number uh, uh, what is that number four what i've learned from this book oh my god i just it just slipped from my mind oh oh my goodness um oh my goodness it just slipped from my from my mind 
I'm sorry but yeah I really really enjoy this book so much and oh yeah this book also um, feel my reading desire in true crime yeah I'm like wow this is dangerous because most of the time I have difficulty to to stomach this true crime documentary or reading material related but then it's still it's important to to like yeah to me it's still important for me to read that because I would like to understand how they think their thought process and why they do why they do ah, why they do what they did like that like, yeah, something like that so yeah thank you for watching this um, messy video and this video I I leave it as raw as possible because I am so used to do live videos on Facebook yeah for my business purpose for my personal branding purpose but it but it's not in English yeah only for booktube i'm making videos like this in english so see you guys in my next videos hopefully every every week i will post video like this so bye